Hey tech learners, welcome back to the Matrix tutorial series. Today we will talk about the consistency of the system of simultaneous linear equations and we will test the consistency using matrices and we will follow the rank method. So for this you need to test the consistency and for that we will be using the rank method. So you should know how to find out the rank of a matrix. If you are not aware, don't worry. I have already made a video on how to find out the rank of the matrix. You can go to the channel playlist and find the video there. So once you know what is the rank and how we can calculate, we can test the consistency of the system of simultaneous linear equations. So I recommend you first go and watch the video uh, finding out the rank of the matrix. So let us see today in this lecture that uh, what we mean by the consistency and uh, how many solutions are there for the equations. So this is a system of simultaneous linear equations. You can see here we have 1, 2 and 3 equations and these are all linear equations and together all three are having a, a system of simultaneous linear equations. So let's see uh, how we can test the consistency. We say that the system can be in two form. One, either it could be consistent or the system will be inconsistent. So when the system will be consistent, uh, the system will be consistent that it will have two options. One, the system is consistent with unique solutions. That means we'll have the solution of x, y and z and we'll have single values of x, y and z. Okay. So that is the consistency with unique solution. Then the system can be consistent but with infinite solutions. That means for x, y and z we can have multiple solutions as well. And the third one is it is inconsistent whenever the system will have no solutions. Let's see how we can find out. We can find out uh, consistency. The system will be consistent with unique solution whenever rank of matrix A will be equal to rank of matrix C and which is again equal to the N. Now what is N here? What is A here? And what is C here? Let us see. So first of all, this N is the number of unknown variables. So we need to see how many unknown variables do we have in the system. Here we can say we have x, we have y and we have z. So we have three unknown variables. So in this case uh, the value of n would be 3. Here we can say n is 3 in our case. So this is number of unknown variables that we have to solve x, y and z. Second, what is the rank of C? What is the matrix C and what is the matrix A? Here matrix A is the matrix of coefficient. So A is matrix of coefficients. So let me create the matrix of coefficient. So we will use all the coefficients on the left hand side and we will frame the matrix. So matrix A would be, this is A1, B1, C1. Then A2, B2 and C2. Second. Third is A3, B3 and C3. So this is A3, B3 and C3. So this is the matrix A. Now what is matrix C? This is the augmented matrix which will be formed using the coefficients and the solution. So we simply uh, have to add one more column to this matrix A. That is the column of the solution. It will become the augmented matrix. So this is A1, B1, C1, D1. Then this is A2, B2, C2, D2 and lastly this is A3, B3, C3 and D3. So this is the augmented matrix. So let us discuss all these three cases. The first case where rank of A, rank of C and N all comes equal. So in this case N is 3 and let us consider that we get rank of A as also 3 and we get rank of C as also 3. So we have to calculate the rank. Uh, in that case, this system of equation, wherever unknown variables is equal to rank of A, is also equal to rank of C, we'll have the system is consistent with unique solution. Next, let us consider uh, rank of A comes to be 2 and rank of C also comes to be 2. So we are uh, here on the second case. 
where rank of A is equal to rank of C because it is 2 and this is also 2 but both are less than N. So you can see N is 3 and 2 is less than 3. In this case the system will be consistent but will have infinitely many solutions. Now let us arrive to the third case where actually rank of A and rank of C do not match. Let us say rank of A comes to be 2 but rank of C comes to be 3. In that case we have the case where rank of A is not equal to rank of C then we will say the system have no solutions. So we will uh, continue and we will see the examples of all these one by one in the next coming lectures.